Shalomon, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushah, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, the bottom to the apostles of Great Millstone, and the citations to the Akim pushing this word in truth and sincerity, not charity. Now back at you with another lesson through the spirit power Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushah, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. And uh, this this video here, uh, which you see in the screen, all right, is the Hebrew Hebrew word Shakar, all right which means to be black, to be black of skin, all right? You know, and, um, you know, this word is mentioned here in uh, Job 30 and 30. It says, my skin is black upon upon me and my bones are burned with heat. You know, so here Job is describing all right, his skin color. Strong's H, 7835, Shacher, Shacher. Okay, so like you. So, you know, because men of the Lord, man, they're dark skin, man. Uh, the, the, he, the Israelites, all right, you know, the Lord created, for the most part, all nations with color except who, man? All right, Esau, Edom, which, you know, today is known as uh, the, the Caucasian race, all right? You know, because, you know, they dwelled in the Caucasus Mountain, all right? Because that's their habitation, man. They, like the scriptures uh, describes them. But... You know, I just want to get another, uh, go, get in, go into other scriptures that prove that the men, you know, the, the, the Israelites, all right, were of dark skin, you know? So, uh, you know, another one, uh, for example, is King, King Solomon, all right? I mean, go to Psalms of Solomon in the first chapter, all right? I believe the fifth verse, it says, I am black, but come, comely. So he's saying, He's dark skin, all right, Shakar, but becoming now. I believe the word here is uh, uh, Kodash, Kadar, Salakia, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just uh, get there real quick. All right. Nope. Same word, I am black. All right, the same word, Shakar. The Hebrew word, Sha, the Ch, the R, Shakar. All right. It says, uh, Properly, dus dusky, but also absolute jetty black. Let's look at that word jetty. Uh, you had the term jet black. This is, you know, uh, well, this gives you, a, you know, but you, you is that you hear the word jet? This man is jet black. All right, that's what they're saying. Jetty, you know, that's this is, that's how King Solomon's skin was. So it says King Solomon 1 and 5, I am black, but calmly, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kedar, as the curtains of Solomon. So look up that word Kedar as well, because you gotta go into words sometimes. It's, it's the Quadar. Quadar. Uh, that's the Quad, the Dot, and the R, and the Rock. Quadar, dark. Alright. You know, it's the sons of you know, Ishmael. All right, but that, that's what that's what the word Qadar means, dark. You know, like the tense of, you know, of Qadar. All right, so it's letting you know, man, that, it, you know, King Solomon had, uh, was, you know, looked calmly beautiful, and he was dark-skinned. All right, now, his, his uh, you know, his, his father, King David, he said that he was ruddy, you know? So when, you know, when you really go into the understanding of ruddy, it's talking about a, a, a light, light complected skin you know you, you look up a ruddy horse well you kind of get like a, a reddish brown light uh, uh color you know that's that's what you know uh, uh when it says it, you know king david was ruddy it was because you know he had it was like he was light complected skin you know as opposed to his son which was jet black you know jet dark in solomon all right you know and um just to end it, uh, end it off, here in the book of Revelations 1 and 13, all right, the, uh, the scriptures describe, you know, the the, uh, the the color of our Lord, man. You know, this is uh, Revelations 1 and 13, it says, In the midst of the seven candlesticks, one unto the Son of Man, which is talking about the Lord, Yahushai, cloth with a garment down to the foot, and girded up about the paps with a golden girdle. All right, verse 14, his head and his hairs were white like wool. So that that's describing the, the, the texture of his hair. White like wool, as white as snow. So it gives, it's telling you that it was woolly, 
all right, and white hair, man, because of the grays, you know, that the Lord had, man, because, you know, with the gray hair presents wisdom, really, but really he was, because he, his, head's, his hair was gray, be white because of, uh, you know, the, the uh, hell that he, was, that he was catching, man, all right, you know, but really, you know, that, that white hair represents uh, wisdom, man, you know, experience, you know, you know, and, and it could be physically, and, you know, and uh, symbolic. All right, says, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, right? Because, you know, the Lord, you know, he loved, you know, to drink wine. I told you in Genesis, all right? You know, and he said he was a wine bearer. But this is the point, verse 15, it says, you know, really, the point also is on 14, because it, it, really, it describes the texture of his hair, man. What race of people in the earth have woolly, woolly hair, man? Not, not the so-called white man they got stringy hair all right so-called negro they have uh that type of texture man all right it says in his feet like unto the fine brass as if they burn in a furnace and his voice as the sound of many waters man so his feet his feet all right was like unto fine brass so you know if the, if the color of your feet is the same color of your whole skin you know so it says fine brass. What color is brass? It's like a dark skin, a, a, a dark color, dark brown. It's like you, as if they burn in the furnace. So even it was more dark because when if you if you burn something, it becomes darker. You know, if you burn if you if you burn brass, it becomes darker. Burn, look up burn brass. You know, so how our Lord how shot he was super dark. You know, and really having dark skin is a blessing because you you know. You have more melanin, all right, which protects you from the sun. It gives you pigment, you know, allows you to, you know, uh, uh, you know, receive more uh, vitamin D. You know, your, your skin is tougher. I mean, uh, healthier. You know, as opposed to not having pigmentation, where you could receive cancer from the sun. You know, you get all different diseases because hey, that melanin is really what you know what protects your skin, man. All right, you know. So with that, man, low wins this video. It was quick and edifying to spend part. How about you, man? Shout out to you, man. Dash. Next time I say, shout out, man. No